Yo, what's up everybody? Lockout men here in the truck on the 30. What's going on right now? As you guys can see, I'm still in my good run good t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? I box all these videos together. So I try to make them all at once so that I can like shoot them out whenever they need to be shot out. That's mm -hmm. But yeah, of course you lie. Sit there and organize. Try to be more than just hoes. Um, thinking you sort of tight. Cause someone wrote you lines. Thinking you whores have got flow. <laughs> no, you can record the lines. Give me but what's going on guys? On the 30, I'm over here in, a, a, actually I'm in the midst of a make the call video as well. But unfortunately I gotta wait. Uh, for them to come back I guess I don't know the time difference over there is totally different than it is over here I'm just saying I'm just saying so what's going on man what's going on today's topic is something that uh, that a lot of drivers had talked about before a lot of drivers had asked about this before uh, some drivers want to know like in a situation when they get pulled over what to do? Turn the music on, please. The sure thing, officer. Where are you headed tonight? Is it like there's this green monster, officer, sneaking around at the old cut mill? <laughs> We're heading out there to to meet the gang and like try to catch it. <laughs> A green monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> driving a little erratic. Right there. <laughs> okay. Just step out of the van, please. Punch it! I found this article right here about what to do when you get pulled over by an officer or a DOT. Now, I'm thinking DOT is kind of different. Being pulled over by a DOT automatically, you're going to get an inspection. So I don't think they're going to pull you over for any type of reasons other than that unless you may have something that gives them a reason to pull you over hello do you guys know why i pulled you over today who are you a bunch of wise guys when y'all buckled up mind your business let me see your all's driver's license you have no backup for it hey And I'm, I'm talking DOT, all right? So reasons like lights, for example, you one of your lights is out. Of course, they're going to pull you over for that and give you an inspection on the site. Um, maybe a flat tire or something like that. You know, something visual to DOT would give them any just cause for them to pull you over, all right? But now, what about the regular Smokey? Is this the bandit? This is Mr. B, and I'm here jamming this rolling refinery. You got another smokey on the rubber? This is the bandit, son. Uh, can we slide right into your convoy there? Come ahead on, bandit. We'll slip you into the rocking chair. Play a little hide and seek. <laughs> the welcome mat is out, and you're coming home. Hit four. What about the regular cops? What about the regular troopers that pull you over for speeding, uh, being in a restricted lane, uh, crossing no i mean crossing lanes without properly signaling what about those guys what do you do when they pull you over This article right here that I have found that pretty much, you know, pretty much explains about what would you do or what you should do in a situation like that. Okay. So as I'm reading this, 
you know, the, the gentleman in this article says that he goes to a lot of trust shows and he get a lot of questions, many concerns handling traffic stops and minimizing the damage that could come from getting the citation. Now, when you get pulled over, that's in the CMV. That's one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to get a citation for me. I took my attitude from getting pulled over from the regular cops and I took it over to as a CMV driver now. Oh no, they're getting away. So when I get pulled over, I have all my information ready. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't play around. I don't move around. I have all my information ready. So when they come up to the car or the truck, I will have my driver's license. Uh, in this case, my permits, my bill of lading. If I'm on a load, uh, insurance card, uh, and everything else. You know what I'm saying? That would alleviate some of the, some of the pressures that some of these cops may feel when they come up onto a come up onto a driver, you know, some of them, some of them get intimidated, you know, when they come up there, they had the gun, you know, ready, you, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. What this guy suggests is almost the same thing that I that I pretty much do. He says he says, first note that the traffic ticket is nothing until it becomes a citation. That happens when you pay the fine, when you fail to show up for court on the appointed day, or when the judge or jury has heard the evidence and decides you are guilty. However, the citation is a, is a determined. It will show up on your motor vehicle report. So a citation regardless, like he said, um, it doesn't, the ticket doesn't become a citation yet but the ticket do show up on your dmv you know you know what i'm saying whether whether if it's a citation or not but as as i just read it becomes a citation when you have to either pay the fine or when you or when a judge says you're guilty and you have to pay the fine anyway license and registration so at the time you get pulled over you know you know the cops they always going to come up to you. <laughs> they always going to come up to you and be like, so, sir, sir, uh, you know what I pulled you over for, sir? And usually you'll turn around and be like, huh, was it for speeding? No, bro. No, you don't say nothing. You know why I pulled you over? Um, Because I was speeding. You don't say nothing. Just like what this man says. Never, never admit guilt. You see what I'm saying? Never admit guilt. You, he comes up to you and he say something. Yo, you know what I pulled you over for? You sit there and be like, I don't know. I'm not sure what you pulled me over for, officer. That's all. Calm, cool, and collect. It never fails when you mention that you did something wrong. <laughs> they got it on video and audio. <laughs> Oh, here we go. We got that call. What should you do when you're pulled over by a cop? Just what are your rights and your obligations? It's a question lots of us are asking these days. Just got finished. Just got finished making the call, talking to uh, H O Holding. Wolding. I can't pronounce that word for nothing. But, uh,. The call came in while I was in the midst of uh, doing the On The 30 video. It's important for me and it's important for you to know what to do when you guys is, are when you guys are pulled over during the traffic stop. Now, one thing for sure you don't want to do, you don't want to make the situation even worse. Okay, you don't want to make the situation even worse than what it already is. Officer Chris Franco of the Mount Pleasant Police Department in New York to show me what to do if pulled over. An officer's gonna ask you for your license, your registration, and proof of insurance. Now, 
Is that something, license, registration, proof of insurance, do I have to give that to the officer? Yes, all three of those things you must show to the officer. Hopefully that you can like talk the officer down in giving you a ticket or a citation or alleviate the, the ticket and or citation. Now, whatever you do, sometimes the officer will come over to the fact and say, all right, well, to save your points, I will do this for you. Don't accept that. Don't accept that because it's whatever the case may be, it's going to still it's still going to reflect on your DAT or on your MVR. So if you're going to get the ticket, if he's going to give you a ticket for whatever he's pulled you over for, take the ticket and then go to court and see if you can win in court. But like I said before, before I got cut off, by all means, do not, do not under any circumstances admit fault for what you've done, all right? If you were speeding, fine, you were speeding, but don't admit that you were speeding. If the cop come over to you and be like, yo, you know what I pulled you over for? Nah, I really don't know what you pulled me over for, officer. You know why I pulled you over? Depends on how long you were following me. Let the officer tell you what he pulled you over for. I said I followed too closely. I ran a stop sign. I almost hit a Chevy. I sped some more. I failed to yield at a crosswalk. I changed lanes in the intersection. I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light and speeding. Is that all? No. So again, never pay a ticket and admit guilt, all right? And never and never fail to show up in court. Definitely if you get a court date, show up. Don't just don't just not show up and hope for the best. Now, this is a CMV vehicle, all right? This is not your personal vehicle. You know, you can you can get a ticket in your personal vehicle and be like, "Yo, I'm not going to show up and you know, whatever." But this is a CMV vehicle. If you get pulled in a scale house, get pulled over by a trooper, or get pulled over by DOT, they gonna they they gonna arrest you for whatever reason. You know, now if you're in your own personal vehicle, if you're in your own personal vehicle, of course you might not get arrested, but they pretty much gonna probably just take your car. Doing either, you know, paying and admitting, doing either is is just handicapping you and your job and possible, possible killing your trucking career, period. Just by admitting and paying for the ticket. You don't wanna do that. You wanna just go to, go to court first and then see if you can fight the ticket and win. Now, when most of us get a speeding ticket, we typically pull out our checkbooks and mail in the fine, but not Jessica. Mm -hmm. She pleaded not guilty at her initial court appearance and stood her ground at trial, running the risk of having to pay for court costs in addition to the original fine. Why did you decide to go to court? Because I, I don't feel that I was going. I mean, if I was going over, I possibly well could have been, but 12, there's no way. So I decided that I wanted to fight it. Jessica says it was a gamble that paid off because the officer didn't show up to court, so the prosecutor dismissed her speeding charge. I was actually really surprised when she came over and told me that he was a no-show. During court, right? In court, there's a lot of things that you can do to tilt the outcome in your favor. You know what I'm saying? It starts at the scene of the citation of insurance, all right? Remain calm, be professional, Treat the officer with respect. Just know that you will never win an argument with an officer that's wearing a badge. You will never, ever win, okay? Get out of the car! And then you I will light me? you up! Get out! Choosing to argue will ensure a citation right off the rip. And the possible, possible, you, you, he might just throw your ass in jail for the hell of it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, on some on some citations, the officer would definitely notate your attitude. So if you was a dick, he's actually gonna write it down like driver was being a dick to me. Can I say citizen, sir? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna opt out. Well, the thing is, before we can proceed with immigration inspection, if you are, that's fine. I don't really care if you're German or whatever. But are you legally in the United States? Uh, I, I don't, I'm not answering. 
questions. Okay, then we have to go ahead and take you in. I know you're recording. We'll take you in, identify you, and then you can proceed. So you're, you're detaining me? Yes, sir. Which will definitely hurt the outcome of the situation. I'm just saying. Oh, no, sir. I just want to go. No, I you are going after go. I'm complete with my inspection. So go ahead, open the door, sir. I will not. Open the door or I'll break this glass. Dude. Are you still recording this? Open this door or I'll break this glass, sir. I have not done anything wrong. I'm asking you. You're planning to go ahead and cooperate, sir. What have I done sir. wrong? What you laws have I broken? And actually the immigration I'm, inspection, sir. I just want to go down the road You freely. will after I'm complete with my immigration inspection. I Do you understand? I don't like these intimidations. It's not intimidation, been... it's yes, the law. It is. It's not the I'm law. I'm down to three and I will break this glass. Don't break the glass, man. One, Shit. open the door. Two. I haven't done anything wrong. Open the door. Open the door. I haven't done anything open wrong. Open the door. I'm not breaking any laws. Open the door. Man. I don't want to break the glass. Don't, don't do it, door. man. I, it's not even my truck. I know, then open the door. Man, that's... This is absurd. I it can't is. believe you would do this. I will open the door. It's not the first one I've done. Now, here's something that uh, that I that I told my son, and and something that I do myself. And like I said before at the beginning of this video, when the officer comes, keep your hands visible. Make sure you have all your credentials ready for when he comes to the window. You feel me? Give them the credentials and have your hands physical. Don't don't be itching. Don't be moving. Don't be don't be try to slide talk or nothing like that or roll the window down halfway and try to you know try to edge the officer on because you guys know in these trying times, man. You know officers just just don't have their shit together no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying they just don't have their shit together. So. It's just better not to fuck with the officer. Just try to alleviate the situation than what it already is. Extraction from vehicle. All right, so you're not gonna put the Sir, give me a I'm reason. Sorry, I can't hear you. Okay, and the reason why I didn't pull you over is for your window tint. I can't see in your vehicle, okay? For the safety reason, I want to talk to you, be able to identify you who you are. You haven't even asked okay. me for an ID. What do you mean you're trying, trying to, to identify to me? Yeah, you still have yet to roll down the window. I'm explaining to you why. Sir, give me the law that says I have to roll down my window. I'm not going to step out, sir. I'm not going to step out, sir. Somebody else is pulling up, sir. We're going to step see what he car. has to say. Sir, step out of the car. Okay, I'm about to... Break your window down. Step out of the car. Sir, we're, there's a cop right Step here. Out of the car. Sir, there's another cop pulling up. Can we Sir, wait? Step out of the car, okay? Sir, both, both of my hands are right here. Sir, at this point, an officer may ask you to step out of the vehicle. Do I have to do that? Yes, you are required to step out of your vehicle. But once you are outside your car, you don't have to let the police so, search it. They may try and make it seem as if you do have to give them consent to, but if they're just asking for your permission to search the vehicle, you don't have to give it to them. At nighttime, just turn on the cab light so the officer can see inside. Of course he's gonna come with the flashlight and flash it in your face. Let's see your ID. Now let us see your ID. If you already have your cab light on, and you know maybe the the interior lights that just put the that just put the officer in the situation at ease above all else you feel me above all else do not convict 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 god damn it man do not convince yourself all right convict yourself be careful of the words that you choose man you know what i'm saying if 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 you're talking to the officer, think before you speak, all right? Choose your words and the information that you provide with caution. Answer questions directly, but never volunteer any information that at least will incriminate yourself. I have unpaid parking tickets. Be gentle. Don't get into a into a ha ha he he conversation 
with the officer and then all of a sudden you start start talking off at the talking off at the neck and the officer is like okay well you know i got you all on camera bro all on camera like i said before all the time all the time the driver will always get asked do he know why he was pulled over and sometimes you'll probably come out of the pocket and say well you know it was 65 but you know i was doing 70 and I thought I can do five miles over the speed limit. I thought that was okay. Speed limit is 65, bruh. Not 70. Not 72. Not, it's 69. It's 65 miles per hour. Now, the officer could be like, well, yeah, okay. I'll just give you a warning. But he can also be a dick, too, because... The speed limit is 65 miles an hour, not 70. But you're still admitting guilt. All right, you still admitting it, so don't don't admit it, I guess. Instead, ask the officer how fast I was going. Yes, officer, how fast was I going? I don't know how fast I was going, but how fast I was going, officer? You know how fast you were going? What? How fast you were going? Uh, 65. 63. Or if you want to, how about this? Admit or just admit that you didn't know what was the speed limit at the time. There's there's plenty of there's plenty of times that we get out there and the speed limit changes without us even knowing. We could be doing 71 minute and then without knowing it'll be 65 the next. But did you see the sign? Did you notice that sign? Did you see it or whatever i don't know sometimes if you go through well i want to say sometimes if you go through a construction area now the construction area could be could be different because you could be doing 70 but the construction area is 55 but only when it's lit and what i mean by lit is when the flashers is on so if the flashers is on uh, it's 55 miles an hour but when the flashers is off then it's 70 I guess and you could probably you could probably dispute that you can probably dispute that if it's if it's 70 while the flashers off or 55 while the flashers on you could probably dispute that during the stop before after and doing or before doing and after the stop if you have a camera Record. What if I say, officer, I'm going to start recording you with my cell phone? Is that allowed? Yes, it is. You have every right to video record an interaction with police. But before you reach for anything or point anything at an officer, you're going to want to advise them, let them know what you're doing, because I don't know what you have in that car, what you don't have in that car. Now I'm recording our interaction, and this is 100% legal. Yes, it is. All right. But don't don't blatantly put your phone in the officer's face a lot of officers hate that shit. they really do if you have a camera like i do i have a dash camera booyah i have my mounted camera booyah and i do have my gopro camera booyah and i do have my phone camera nine times out of ten my dash camera is going to be recording all the time now if i get into a situation with an officer that i that i feel that may be a little bit more tumultuous then yes i'll break out my gopro camera and i'll probably sit it down somewhere or i will have my mounted camera and i'll just hit record on that and then just start recording but when in any case if you have a dash camera or you have any other cameras make sure you record just don't get your phone please don't get your phone and do one of these numbers yes officer what you want 
I'm not doing nothing wrong though. You pulled me over for nothing. For nothing. Close the door. And as we were with them on patrol, in the car, please. What do you do? a routine traffic stop turns into an armed standoff. Put your hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up. Hands up. It's a firearm. The driver has a gun out in plain view. Put your hands up, man. Put your hands up! Don't move. If you move, you're going to get shot. Do you understand? The driver finally puts his hands on the steering wheel, away from the gun. Then keep your hand right there. But the two officers are outnumbered by the four men in the car, and no telling if the passengers are armed. Keep your hands on the hair rest. Hands on the hair rest. We got to come right now. Waiting on backup to arrive, Officer Ben Terahill makes a move. Put a, put a beat on him. Holstering his gun so he can disarm the driver. Step out. Step out. Step out. Put your hands behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Turns out there was a second gun in the back seat. With both drivers and cops packing heat, revolver, four loaded guns, three tense minutes. A finite amount of time, but infinite ways this could have turned deadly. I'm just saying, don't do that. Do not do that. Just, just record it simple so that you can have some, that you can have a backup plan too. Because when the officer, if you go to court, you best believe the officer is going to be there and the officer is going to provide his video, uh, his video proof of his point of view. So definitely have some video proof of your point of view too. The cop is approaching, you have to realize he doesn't know what's coming. Follow Inspired him. by Reynolds Kong, Cafe Anderson, a biracial country music singer, made this video showing exactly what drivers can do to defuse tensions at traffic stops and keep everybody, including the police, calm. You have to have your ID pulled out before the cop gets there. My car was completely turned off. The radio is all the way down. Then I'm facing forward. Both of my hands are here with my fingers out. It's gone viral. At the end of the day, the policeman wants to go home safely. We want to get home safely. Even if the cop is having a bad day, you have to go home. But all right, all right, that's it. Lock out me in on the 30. Hey, I'm glad you guys rocking out with me. I really do appreciate it. Subscribers, definitely. I appreciate the 5,032. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting subscribers on the daily. And I really, really, honestly, truly appreciate it. Thank you. I gear these videos towards the new Jack. So if you know anybody that's coming into the business or that wants good clean content that'll get their mind working yo hit them up to the lockout man channel also don't forget if you hadn't done already make sure you go to the facebook and hit lockout man makes the call facebook group make sure you join that and join the conversation yo you got any questions for me definitely hit me up in the gmail lockout man hit me up in uh at instagram lockout men and and the uh the facebook lockout men makes the makes the call all right don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell for more videos like this yo thank you for joining me and i'll come back at you guys in another video lockout men out Yo, it's time to go. I got six hours left on the clock. Let's go ahead and make the best of it.